Hi, I'm Elise. And I'm Harmony. And we are Damsels in DIY. Welcome to our first YouTube video. We've got a lot of fun and exciting stuff coming up, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Today, we are making these fun and easy fox ears that you can put on barrettes, headbands, hats, or really anything. And they're a huge hit with the kids in particular. So, let's get started. To make the fox ears, you will need one foot of orange felt, a small chunk of white felt or vinyl, a small chunk of light pink felt, brown thread, a sewing machine, scissors, black fabric paint, paintbrush, measuring tape or ruler, pin cushion and pins, headband or hair barrettes, plastic drying surface, and my personal favorite, the hot glue gun. Cut out your soft triangular shaped ears like this. Make the shape about 3.5 inches tall and 2.5 inches wide at the bottom. We like to make one edge of ours have a slight sloping that looks more like a canine ear. The top of the ear shape should be rounded. Once you have your ear shape cut out, use it to cut out three more. You will need two of these per ear. Next, cut out your white earpiece. For our 3.5 inch tall ears, we made ours two inches tall and two inches wide at the bottom. Once you have this cut out, cut out one more so that you have one for each ear. Next, cut out your pink inner ear pieces. Ours are about one inch tall and 1.25 inches wide at the bottom. Once you have this piece cut out, cut one more so that you have one per ear. Now you have all your pieces cut. Take your pieces and separate them into two ear piles like so. Make sure that the piles reflect how the ears will look on your head so that you know you've created a right and a left ear. We usually have our curved edges on the outside of the ears. Now, grabbing the inside edge of the front orange ear piece, fold it to the outside. Take a pin and pin a very small dart on the folded edge. Our darts are usually about half the height of the ear. Try not to dart more than one half inch of the material. These darts will help the ears naturally curve inwards. Now that you have darts in both of the front orange ear pieces, take the white and pink ear pieces and stitch the pink to the white centered at the bottom with a zigzag stitch. Now, take your combined white and pink pieces and your darted orange ear fronts and stitch them with a zigzag stitch centered at the bottom edge. Now you have completed your ear front. Take the ear front and the remaining piece and starting on the outer edge, sew them around the top ear curve with a zigzag stitch. Next, stretch the ear bottoms as best you can and sew them across the bottom. Your ear body is now complete. Now take your black fabric paint and paint the upper tip of the ear in a curved shape along the edge. Don't forget to do the back side too. They're so cute. <laughs> Once your ears have dried, they can be hot glued to headbands, hair barrettes, and anything else you can think of. And have fun with your fox ears. Once again, I'm Elise. And I'm Harmony. And we are Damsels in DIY. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fun DIY projects. E -e 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 and scream like a lady or something. Right? Is that what foxes do? What does the fox say? What they said in that video is pretty much what the fox said. <laughs> oh, I don't even remember how it was so long ago. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, is that right? right? That's it. I got it. I got it. That's all, what the fox All says. the sounds. All the sounds all the they sounds. in that video are pretty much what foxes do, and they scream like ladies. Ah! Yeah. I don't think they do that, though. If they do, that's adorable. They kind of do that. <laughs> <laughs>